Alright guys, today I'm going to be making a video of how to change out the fuses on the Hustler Super S. Um, I, we tried looking up a lot of things about the fuses and could never find anything, so we're going to go ahead and make this video. Um, some of you may know how to do it, but this is for all of the beginners out there or anyone that is interested in the Super S and just wondering how this works. So we're going to go ahead and change out the fuses because the one is burnt out. Um, but we're just going to show you how to remove it, where it's located, and how to um, change it out. So let's go ahead and get to the mower. Alright guys, so we are here at our Super S, as you can see. Um, so first, I'm going to go ahead and show you where the main fuse is, and that would be right down here. Um, so this should be 30 amps. Um, you just take this covering off, and there it is. Um, we have not had any problems with that, so that's really good because that's the main one. Um, but the problems we are having with is up here, as you can see, um, there they are. One should be a 10, and then one should be a 15 amp, um, but that is basically for the deck clutch fuse and the safety ignition fuse. Um, so they're pretty important, and that's why our mower is not turning on right now. So we're going to go ahead and take them out and show you what a good one is and what a bad one looks like, um, just so you can get a um, representation of that. So we're going to go ahead and take these out now. Okay, so we have them out. Um, Jackie will show you guys um, how you can tell if one is burnt out or not. Okay, so if you look at this, you should see basically a U shape, um, as you can see. But, right in the middle. Yeah, yep. and that's how you know it's a good one. But if you look at this one, the U is separated in the middle. That means it has already blown out and it is no longer usable. Yep, and we've been having problems with both of those fuses, um, but only one um, blows out more than the other, so yeah. um, I'm not sure which one's which right now because one is supposed to be a 10 amp and one is supposed to be a 15 amp, but our dealer changed them to both 15, hoping that that would work, and that is not helping. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get our um, two other fuses, which we're just going to do 15 amps right now. Um, and then hopefully we can get this loaded up on the trailer and take it to the dealer. And one thing we didn't mention is that when it was blown out, the hour still does light up. Um, I know in this case we already took the fuses out, but it'll just do the same exact thing. So usually you should turn it halfway and these will light up, but in this case it does not. So that's how you know the fuse has gone bad. Yep. So... Basically, it won't start at all. Mm -mm. Obviously, right now, because the fuses are taken out, but the you, same thing happened. <laughs> yeah, the same thing happened, and it'll just shut off midway. Yeah. Um. So, you'll have to disengage the blades by yourself, and then put it in park. Put it in park. Um, but yeah, everything's working on it fine, except for those fuses. Um, as you can see, we have the gas tank on it. It's full, so we know that was not the problem. Um, and when we start it, we put it at throttle, but nothing is happening. They're still in neutral. Everything's going right except for those fuses. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and just replace both of them, even though the one was still okay. But we're just going to replace them just to be cautious. Um, hopefully the other one doesn't burn out. But Jackie's going to replace them. Basically, you just push it in there until it no longer goes in or makes kind of like a clicking. Yeah, kind of like a snap. And then kind of tug at it, and if it doesn't go out, you're good. So now we can go back up here, and it should hopefully start. Um, we're going to make this quick because we do not want the fuses to burn out again. So once we start it, um, Jackie is going to go hurry up and drive it to the trailer. Um, because last time it was only about on for 15 seconds before it shut off. 
Yep, see now it's on. There it is. <laughs> Remember to put it in full time. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, we got the mower onto the trailer. Um, so this was just a short video showing you where the fuses are located and how to replace them on the Super S. Um, so obviously that's not going to fix the problem because the fuses are blowing for a certain reason. Um, but that is just to show you guys how you can quickly replace it and get it onto your trailer to take to your dealer to figure out what the issue actually is. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see anything else about the Super S or the Hustler Trim Star, go ahead and let us know in the comments down below and we'll do our best to make a video um, showing you guys or explaining those certain things that you want. Um, so we are going to take it to the dealer now and we'll be sure to make another video um, explaining what the fuse problem is um, just for any of you guys that have a Super S or any potential buyers. Um, so thanks for watching this video and we hope you have a great day.